Hello everyone, I'm Animus J, and welcome to my quiet place. What is a quiet place you ask? Well, a quiet place is where I go when I'm feeling very frustrated with Minecraft. The reason we're here in my quiet place today is because when I tried to open my J world, it froze up my entire computer and I had to force a shutdown. Then when I turned everything back on, my world was corrupted and despite all of my attempts to fix it, I lost everything. Well, maybe not everything because I did make a backup about three episodes ago, but I lost a lot and I mean a lot of stuff. So. Here I am in my quiet place, and I'm just going to spend a little bit of time here before we go on to J-World. Oh, I lost so much. So, so, so very much. Cobblestone and stone and... and Okay, let's get back to J-World, shall we? And welcome back to J-World. I... It took me quite a bit of time to get everything caught back up, but I think we're there. Um, there's still some things that I'm sure I missed, but oh well. Um, this, is, this is where we're at. So yeah, it's all filled in. It's all completely filled in. Um, we still need to, you know, take care of the bottom, but that's going to be one of the, the big spikes. And then, um, another thing is that you could see, obviously it's extremely dark in the areas that are kind of, um, concaved in, I guess you could say. Um, but <clears throat> there's an easy way to fix that. And that's just, it, the entire inside is lit up with torches. And all we got to do is we just need to put, uh, when we do half slabs, what we'll do is we'll break the full block above the half slab and then the light will semi shine through and allow us to be able to see all the area around where the half slab is at. So, yeah, so um, I, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Honestly, I, I was happier with how the original one <laughs> was turning out, but what can you do? So... Yeah, I did my best to make it very rough and inconsistent. Um, that way it wasn't like a, you know, a perfect cone coming down and it looks like it really did just kind of rip out of the ground. Yeah, so next what we're going to do is we are, we're going to kill this skeleton first. Um, get, get, get wrecked. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to go around the bottom, we're going to close up this hole, and we're going to bring down a whole bunch of spikes all over the place. So, oh geez, let's see. Oh yes, okay, good. We, I was worried. Uh, t excuse me. I didn't, I didn't know if we had any stone or not to be able to do it. I thought I was going to have to go mining yet again, because I've already spent countless hours, countless hours mining for this project. And you can see we've had some creeper explosions already. Um, but yes, all of that stone, thankfully, this should be enough to do what we need to do. So let's get to it. Now I'm just going along, closing up the inside of this, and I'm looking at everything we've got in here. And I've been thinking for a while that we should leave this hollow. But the question is, what should we put in here? What could we put in here? I was thinking maybe farms. Like possibly we could put all the noisy farms inside of here, the animals and things. That way they're like lower down and not close to, you know, 
the uh, the fancy Skyland people, the upscale social livings of the Skylandians. Yeah, that's what we should call them, Skylandians. Um, because you know they don't want to deal with a bunch of noise. They want their they want their cooked beef delivered to them without having to hear any animal noises at all. So I don't know. Let me know. What do you think? What do you think we could put? inside of this area right here now i'm um just about halfway ish almost halfway ish uh done closing up this middle part and i have not stepped back at all <laughs> to look at this which worries me a little bit and i oh um because I, it could look absolutely stupid. And it probably does look absolutely stupid. Um, but in saying that, let me just encourage you that there's a lot of things that I build that look absolutely stupid. And if right now you're thinking, Jay, everything you build is absolutely stupid. I mean, okay, maybe. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes I get lucky. Uh, in any case, what I'm getting at is in, in your own builds, don't um, don't give up right away, okay? Like, give it some time, let it settle, because you know what, there there's times that like I genuinely hate what it is that I've built, and then I just, I, I get mad, and then I close Minecraft, <laughs> and, and then I come back to it, and I look at it, and I'm like, oh, you know what, actually, that's not that. Could I place the correct block where I want it and break the correct block that I want to break? Thank you. Um, yeah, so I come back and then I'm like, oh, you know what? That's actually not too bad. Um, it's it's actually not as horrible as I thought it was, and actually I I kind of like it. So, you know, don't don't give up on your projects right away and demolish them the moment that you don't like it. I mean, obviously, if you're tweaking and you're like, yeah, that that one spot right there just isn't the way that I had imagined it would be, then that's different. But you know, just getting frustrated and being like, that's it, I quit, you know, rage quitting, <laughs> essentially. Um, don't do that, you know, give it some time, give it some time, because it'll a lot of times pan out better than you think it will. Uh, and sometimes you just need the entire build to come together before it's going to look the way that you want it to look. Because like, if you think about this, big project right here. There's a lot to this. I mean, we have the land up there. And like I had talked about, you know, um, this being essentially a perfect circle, that it might look funny. But then as I've been getting all of the, uh, the, the rocks in, it didn't look anywhere near perfect. And so it was the whole thing of, I just needed the big picture to come into play so that it could look the way that I had wanted it to look. And so now I it, I can't even tell that it's a perfect circle up at the top because uh, the rocks and everything take the look, the perfectness so out of it that you can't tell at all. All right, the hole has been filled in and I have been working on improving the lighting. As you can see, you can actually see what's going on for most of it. And I gotta say, it's growing on me. It's looking pretty good. We don't even need to add that much for the spikes, I don't think. Just some of the more squared off areas like that right there. I am so very sorry, you guys. Something has been going on with my processor overheating and causing the video recording to lag. So there's about five minutes of me explaining detailing and lighting that I had to cut out because the video was just completely lagged out and it actually froze on the same spot for about like a minute straight. Uh, to be honest though, it's just a lot of me rambling. So let's get back into it. And we've come to the point where I'm putting in the detailing, but um, I'm not spending a crazy amount of time on this. And that's because with how large scale this project is and how far away you're going to see everything from, it's not going to be very visible. Even where it goes from cobblestone to smooth stone like this, it's very difficult to even see from really far away. Even, even from the base, it's, it's kind of hard to see and it doesn't look that bad. Uh, the main purpose of this detailing is to actually just break up. So normally detailing would be like, 
you know, I'm trying to make it look really good so that when you get close to it, it just looks super awesome. That's why, you know, hence the word details. But in this case, what it is, is it's trying to break up the look from far away because we have sections like this where, I mean, like if you look right there, we just have very, very, a whole lot of smooth uh, square like uh, surfaces. And so by putting in these walls and stairs all over the place, what we're doing is we're breaking up that look so that it doesn't look quite as, oh geez, <laughs> and I beat my scaffolding down to the ground. Anyways, so if we look at right there, um, looking through the scaffolding, you can see what we're doing is we're breaking up that the smoothness of it, okay? So if you look right here, actually it looks pretty decent right there the way that I've done it, but you can see we have a bunch of graduations and, and squares. Whereas right here where I put in the walls, you can see it's a lot more broken up, a lot more rough looking. Okay, so like right here is a great example. It's very smooth and box-like and square-like, lots of straight lines. And so that's where I'm adding in all the fences and the, excuse me, the walls and the stairs in order to break those kinds of things up. So I've done a lot of the hanging down bits, as you can see, and I am very pleased with how it is starting to turn out. Um, I am not completely satisfied yet. Uh, there's still a lot of bits that need to have, you know, some hanging down spikes coming down from it. But I've gone through so many stacks of stone uh, andesite cobblestone making these walls in order to do this and um I, i've basically run out i i have i do have normal stone left i do have some cobblestone um unfortunately you can't make walls from normal stone i'm not sure why that's a thing but it apparently is and excuse the slamming door in the background but um yeah and there's still still a couple weird things going on like i, I don't know what's up with that spot right there it looks a little bit odd i'll have to figure out what that is and fix it um, the next thing that I want to do, the next step in this, so I'm going to keep on detailing it as time goes on. Uh, but we're going to move forward with the next phase of the build, which is adding some more dirt, uh, which I don't believe I have enough of. I definitely don't have enough of. Um, but what I'm going to do, if I clear out all of this stone, is I'm going to go around the edge of the circle right about there and add dirt because if you look at it right now from a distance you see it just looks like a giant stone floating mass you can't actually tell that there's dirt up there that there's anything going on other than floating stone and so what i'm going to do is around the edges right around there is i'm going to add dirt basically the edge stone that's up there is going to be replaced with dirt and then it's going to kind of hang down with a little bit of dirt to make it look just a little bit more natural and welcome back to the third attempt at recording the ending to this episode you guys i've had so many issues this week it's insane it's ridiculous uh, first the world corrupts and then I have to fix everything and catch everything back up and then I'm doing all of this without the resources that I had originally and then I'm trying to progress it and then I have video freezing up and then I have audio randomly changing levels while I'm in the middle of recording and then I have audio just straight up not recording. Guys, it's been insane and thank you so much for sticking with me through all of this even though some of it got cut out and you didn't really realize that that happened but yes. Here is all of our dirt. Look at our splendid dirt. Isn't it wonderful? It's very brown, right? But that's okay, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna come behind and we're going to put green concrete powder in some of the spots in order to make it look like grass is coming down. And that's gonna make it look a lot more fancier. And then we'll leave a lot of the dirt in place so that we have actual dirt dirt, and then we have like green concrete powder dirt in some of the places. But I think overall, it has added a whole lot of value to our island. It looks a whole lot more like a piece of land was just pulled up out of the ground and lifted up into the sky. Now, if you haven't already, please go down into the comments and let me know what you think we should do 
with our space inside of all of the stone because we have this big open space on the inside that we can do something with. If you have an idea for that, please let me know. And all of this stone was me trying to demonstrate to you guys what it is that we're going to be doing when uh, well in the next episode i hope i hope in the next episode i don't know we'll hopefully we're done with all the recording issues and lag issues and uh corrupt issues and all that stuff but what we're going to be doing is from these two stair blocks are our markers for the structures that we're going to be building and what it is even though it's a square it's going to be going off in this direction roughly like so and then what it's going to do is it's going to wrap around here in this rough path. This is not exact. It's just kind of a rough idea of where it's going to go to. Um, and then what it's going to do is it's going to climb diagonally right here and diagonally from each of the corners. So even though this is technically a square-ish kind of a thing, it's going to look like two triangles next to each other. And we're going to use white concrete powder and we're going to use cyan glass. And then what we're going to do is another structure is going to be all around here. And it's again, it's gonna look like two triangles, a lot like this is, but it's going to encompass this smaller one and it's gonna be much bigger, mucho bigger -o. Um So that being said, I have the white concrete for it, but I need the cyan glass. So between now and the next episode, I'm going to do a whole lot of mining and a whole lot of smelting. At least I hope I am. Hi, Piggy. What's going on? You want some fish? There you go, buddy. Um, so thank you for putting up with this episode with me. I uh, Yeah, it's been frustrating. <laughs> uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like the video. And if you're new around here, I'd love it if you subscribed and joined our Discord community. But that's it, guys. I'm Animus J, and I will see you next time.